Hello guys, today I'm going to be talking about the best player from each NBA team. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get it started. So the first NBA team I'm going to be talking about is the Boston Celtics. So the Boston Celtics is Jason Tatum by far because he just is very good on everything, defensively shooting, finishing, and he is one of the best players right now. So it's very easy to say that it's Jason Tatum for the Boston Celtics. Next team I'm going to be doing is the Phoenix Suns. The Phoenix Suns best player is Kevin Durant because he is very good on offense and he is one of the best scorers of all time. So that's why I think Kevin Durant is the best player on the Suns. But Booker does come close because he is um, also a very good scorer. But I think Kevin Durant is a better defender and that's what makes it that Kevin Durant is better. Next thing I'm gonna be doing is the Brooklyn Nets. I would say for the Brooklyn Nets is Mikhail Bridges because in Phoenix, he was just a role player. But then when, when he came to Brooklyn, he started averaging a lot more points. And also he is a very good defender. Next thing I'm gonna be doing is the Orlando Magic. And the best player is Paolo Bancaro because he won Rookie of the Year and he is carrying um, the Orlando Magic to the only wins they have. Next thing I'm gonna be doing is the Milwaukee Bucks. It is by far Giannis Antetokounmpo because on 2021, he won the finals and he blocked DeAndre Ayton for the game winner or possibly the game winner. And he's just a very, very good defender and finisher, but he does gotta work on his jump shot. Next thing I'm gonna be doing is the New Orleans Pelicans. I would say it's Brandon Ingram because Zion Williamson gets injured all the time and he barely plays on the lead right now, so I would have to give it to Brandon Ingram for that reason. Next thing I'm gonna be doing is the Dallas Mavericks. I would say it's Luka Doncic because for his for one of his first seasons, he has been doing very, very good and he is one of the best players on the league and he's argu arguably better than Steph Curry right now. Next thing I'm gonna be doing is the Portland Trailblazers, and I would say it's Damian Lillard because he's a very good shooter, and he could also finish around the rim. And lastly, he is the only good player in the Portland Trailblazers, so that's why I pick him. Next thing I'm gonna be doing is the Los Angeles Lakers. It's obviously LeBron James, because even though he is very old, he is still a very good player and one of the best players in the lead current in the league currently, and arguably the goat. Next thing I'm gonna be doing, it's a Grizzlies. So I would say it's John Morant, but he does gotta work on his off court things. And but he is a very athletic player, and he could dunk the ball very well. And he could finish around the rim very well. Next thing I'm going to be doing is the Houston Rockets, and I would say it's Jalen Green because he is very athletic and he could shoot very well, and he is carrying the Rockets very well. Next thing I'm going to be doing is the New York Knicks, and I would say it's Jalen Brunson because on the Dallas Mavericks, he wasn't that much. He was just a role player, but when he came to New York, he started showing off to everybody, and he is a very good player for the New York Knicks. Next thing I'm going to be doing is the Chicago Bulls, and I think it's Zach Levin because he is very athletic, and he could just finish around the rim very well, and he could shoot a little bit too, so that's why I think it's Zach Levin for the Bulls. Next thing I'm going to be doing is the Sacramento Kings, and I would say it's De'Aaron Fox because he is very athletic, he could shoot, and he was clutchest player of the year. But it is very close because Dominus Sabonis is very good too. Next thing I'm going to be doing is the Detroit Pistons. And it's clearly Kate Cunningham because he is the only good player in the Detroit Pistons because, Pistons because everybody else is not that good. Next thing I'm going to be doing is the Golden State Warriors. And it's obviously Stephen Curry because he is the best shooter of all time. He could finish pretty well. And he's a very good leader. And he, he got pretty good handles too. Next thing I'm going to be doing is the Los Angeles Clippers. And I will say this Kawhi Leonard. Although he gets injured a lot. But he still has very good defense. He could finish very well. And he could shoot very well. 
So that's why I pick him. The next one I'm gonna be doing is the Hornets. And it's obviously the Mellow Ball, but he does get injured a lot. But he is still a very good playmaker, passer. He could shoot very well. He could somewhat finish around the rim. Next thing I want to do is the Denver Nuggets. And it's obviously very clear, really, Nikola Jokic, because he's a very, very good passer for his height. He's a very good shooter considering his height. He has a very good post score, and he has good defense. Next thing I'm going to be doing is the Minnesota Timberwolves. And it's very close because Carl Anthony Towns could shoot very well. He's the best shooter in the league right now from three-point on the center. But Anthony, I will go, I'll go with Anthony Edwards because he is very athletic. And he could dunk the ball very well. Next thing I'm going to do is the Cleveland Cavaliers. And I would pick Donovan Mitchell because he's a good all-around. Like, he could finish very well. He could shoot. And yeah, that's why I pick him. He's a all-around player. Next thing I'm gonna do is the Philadelphia 76ers, and it's probably Joel Embiid because he's a good post scorer. He won MVP. He's a good defender. He could pretty shoot. He could shoot pretty well, and he's just the best player on the Sixers. Next thing I'm gonna do is the Miami Heat, and it's Jimmy Butler because he's a good shooter. He could defend. He could finish. And he is a very good leader of his team. Next thing I'm going to do is the Utah Jazz. And it's Laura Markinen because he's a very good shooter. And there's not really any good players on the Utah Jazz. So that's why I picked Laura Markinen. Next thing I'm going to do is the Washington Wizards. And it's Jordan Poole, but he just got traded. So, but in Golden State, he was a very, very good player. And he was a very good six man, and he could shoot the ball very well. Next thing I want to do is the Atlanta Hawks, and it's obviously Trey Young, it's because he's a very good shooter. He could finish, he could pass the ball very well, and he's a very good leader for his team. Next thing I want to do is the Toronto Raptors, and it's Pascal Siakam. He is very underrated. He is a very good defender. He could sometimes shoot. Next team I'm gonna do is the Oklahoma City Thunder, and it's obviously Shaggy Ogish Alexander. He is carrying them a lot. He's a very good shooter. He could dunk, he could finish, he could defend, I think, a little bit, and he's just a very good leader. Next team I'm gonna do is the San Antonio Spurs, and it's Victor Wembanyama, and he just got drafted. He's very tall, he could shoot, he could defend. He can finish, and he's just very good in everything. Thank you guys for watching the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. I hope y'all enjoyed the video.